All right, so now we're on to dependent events. Now, two events are dependent if the occurrence of one of them has an effect on the probability of the other. Now, and probabilities with dependent events. So if A and B are dependent, then we have probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has occurred. So we've already had A occur, and so we have to figure out the probability that B is going to occur with that. So the multiplication rule for dependent events can be extended to cover three or more dependent events. For example, in the case of three such events, we have probability of A and the probability of B and the probability of C is given by the uh, probability of A times the probability of B given that A occurred times the probability of C given that A and B occurred. So we have a little bit more uh, complex stuff we have to think about here. So let's start with this one. You're dealt two cards from a 52 card deck. Find the probability of getting two kings. All right, so we want, in this case, the probability of a king and a king. All right, so now it says you're dealt two cards. So you're dealt two cards immediately. So you're given one card, and it's a king. And then you're given the second card, and it's a king. Okay, so this is the first king. This is the second king. All right, so in the first case here, well, how many kings are possible? Well, there's going to be four possible kings because that's the very first card you're pulling out, and it's they're only dealing two cards. So there's four possible kings. And how many are in the deck at that point in time? Well, there's 52 in the deck at that card at point in time of cards. Now, after you've taken that one out, guess what? Now, when you're getting ready to be dealt that second king, how many kings are left? Well, there's only three possible kings kings at that point because you've already taken one it's here so there's only three possibles here and there's not 52 cards left because you've taken one out here and so there's only 51 cards left so what we really have is our probabilities four over 52 and three over 51 so this then becomes four over 52 times three over 51 which then if we multiply that gives us, let's go over to our nice calculator, clear that out. So we have four divided by 52 and times three divided by 51. Let's see if it'll reduce for us. And it does, one over 221. So that tells us that this is one over 221. So that's the probability of two cards give, being given to you and they're getting two kinks. All right, so let's stop there and we'll come back for some more.